Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Dax McCoy. Aaron Drawhorn and Kim Roosley have the night off. Well, relief is here for many Southeast Texas storm victims who are still not fully recovered from a series of disasters that have plagued our area for nearly a decade. KFDM's Angel San Juan in studio now to tell us who is providing this assistance. Angel, who is it? Hey, Dax. Well, help is coming from five different college groups from across Oklahoma. Instead of spending spring break at the beach, the 34 young men and women are working hard to rebuild what's been damaged for years. Michael Priscilla is the pastor at First Baptist Church of West Orange, a position he's held for nearly a decade. During that time, he, his wife, and congregation have endured a relentless rash of storms. My church was flooded with Harvey, uh, and then the church parsonage got hit in uh, Hurricane Laura. And so uh, that's pretty much defined our life together so far, actually. <laughs> and after each disaster, his church was on the front lines of delivering aid. A lot of the supplies were distributed through my church in the aftermath of Harvey and we were able to be a blessing to all the people in uh, the Orange community, particularly here, right here in the West Orange community. Pastor Priscilla is always thinking about his community and not so much about himself. That's why he's hardly lived at the parsonage, which is the pastor's house. I've been trying to do this myself, and uh, it's just been a slow process doing it alone, so I'm really thankful. Thankful for these volunteers. Five different college groups from across Oklahoma spending this week in Orange providing disaster relief. Young people want to get involved. They want to make a difference. And so I think, you know, all of our students down here proves that they want to make a difference in life. They, they care more than people give them credit for. Natalie Ward is one of those students spending her spring break making a difference. She is a junior at Rogers State University in Claremore, Oklahoma, and she's helping rebuild the parsonage. I heard that it happened two years ago. I was like, wow, and there still hasn't been anything done about it? That's crazy. You know, we really need to go help. So that, like, gave me more of a motivation to come here and say, hey, you know, these people really need help. Marcella Malfino is the executive director of Nehemiah's Vision, the nonprofit that helped coordinate these projects. He says these volunteers really help ramp up the recovery process, providing much needed relief for Southeast Texans who have been waiting a long time. There's such a need still in the community, um, whether it's storm related or not storm related. Um, you know, there's, there's people that are hurting, there's people that need help. And to see young people like this group from Oklahoma that chose to come down uh, on their spring break to come help a community that they didn't know, they've never been to before. Um, and to see them work and to see them work together uh, in partnership, uh, it's, been, it's been really neat. Really neat young people there. Well, Pastor Priscilla says he and his wife already have another house near the church, so once the parsonage is complete, he hopes a future music minister can live there. As for the spring breakers, they're here through Thursday and will build a wheelchair ramp for an 84-year-old man with cancer. That project is part of a new partnership between Nehemiah's Vision and Meals on Wheels. That's 